Um, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, ahoy sea dogs. It is with immense pleasure that I welcome you all to the 2016 edition of this annual Wole Shoinka lecture, the 19th in the series. The lecture series honors one of our own, Nigeria's and Africa's most exceptional and enduring literary actions, Nobel laureate, poet, playwright, humanist, social and political activist, and national conscience in the person of Professor Shoinka, who turns 82 this July. The National Association of Sea Dogs, Friars Confraternity, through this forum, seeks to promote good governance, social justice, and the advancement of democratic ideals locally in Nigeria and internationally. In pursuit of these objectives, we articulate and facilitate discourse on issues that are topical and paramount to resolving human conflicts wherever they exist, expanding the frontiers of human dignity and respect wherever they are trampled upon, and raise the bar of democracy and good governance as they affect citizenship and decent livelihood the world over. As the global economic recession triggered by the spike in transborder terrorism, armed insurgencies, and the unexpected dip in international crude oil prices bites harder, African economies would be the worst hit, owing largely to the inadequacy of social safety nets to protect the most vulnerable members of the society and lack of market sophistication. Today's topic, democracy, good governance, and development in Africa, the need for effective and visionary leadership is both apt and poignant. Visionary leadership provides the bridge that reconnects the disrupted segments of a society when adversity, man-made or natural, has laid siege on it, when society has been disrupted by the savage, destructive, wanton, and inordinate ambitions of myopic or self-centered leadership. Thus, the proportionate relationship between good, effective, and visionary leadership and socioeconomic, cultural, and political development in the life and affairs of a nation state cannot be overstated. For the purpose of this lecture, we have highlighted the Rwandan example. Not because we do not appreciate the advent of tenacious and purposeful leadership across emerging democracies in Africa, in Mauritius, Botswana, Ghana, the Seychelles, Namibia, Kenya, etc. We did because the human tragedy during the genocide in Rwanda left a despondency few believe possible to recover from. And to rise from the despondency of such deeply fractured communality required the cleansing and elevation of humanity to the light of love and forgiveness and edification of human spirit. Raising humanity to the highest level of fulfillment is the raising debtor of the National Association of Sea Dogs, Pirates Confraternity. We will continue to facilitate and publicize discourse on issues and topics that would agitate the minds of and form the fulcrum of leadership, citizenship development, and partnerships for growth across Africa and the globe. We shall continue to lend our voice in recognizing African icons and visionaries who, as individuals, leaders, policymakers, collaborators, founders of institutions, 
have taken responsibility and through pragmatic leadership have brought about socioeconomic progress, have provided solutions that cost reduction in hunger, poverty, and disease, and or have, through programs and interventions, prevented loss of lives and livelihoods during times of disputes, conflict, and wars. These are the new standard bearers in leadership development across Africa and will lead the drive to shepherding growth and delivery of the positive dividends of democracy to Africa's one and a half billion people. Distinguished guests, our task here today is simple. To identify, emphasize, and interrogate the issues, conditions, factors, and influences that have contributed to the current poor state of affairs in Africa's development. To beam a such light on what must be done to reverse our penchant for moribund consumerism and to set the bar high for individuals that aspire to leadership positions at any and every level in Africa today. Rwanda did it, why can't we all? Please sit back and enjoy the lecture and thank you very much.